Well, howdy everyone! My name is Laura and I'm the host of SBP Kids Online Church where we like to sing and pray and have fun while we hear God's Word and we learn about how awesome it is to live a life following Jesus. I am so glad that you are here with us today and if you're here that means you're a friend. You can be a friend whether you're a little kid, a big kid, or a kid at heart. And since we're all friends here, we should know each other's names. So why don't you go ahead and tell me your name right now. Welcome to our series called On the Farm. In this series, we're going to have fun on the farm, learning all about the good things that God grows in our hearts through the Holy Spirit when we follow Jesus. These good things are called the fruits of the Spirit. The fruit of the Spirit are love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. how we can show love to others. Can you say this after me? I can show love. In just a minute, we'll head down to the farm to see what's going on. But first, I have a question for you. If you owned a farm, what food would you grow? Hmm, I bet your answer is really yummy. I would probably grow corn. I really like corn. It's a big lump with knobs. If I were a corn farmer, I'd tell you all about it. But I'll hold off on that so that we can head down to the farm. Are you ready? Count down from 10 with me. 10, 9, y'all, my name is Olive, and I'm so happy to have y'all join us on the farm. My job is to help Farmer Fred with daily chores. Say, would y'all like to help me out here on the farm today? Yeah! Hooey! This is gonna be a fun and dandy day. To help out on the farm, you'll need to get dressed. First, you'll need some good boots to protect your feet from all the muck and mud around the farm. Everybody stomp your feet to put on your boots. There you go. Those boots are looking mighty fine. Okay. Now you need a big old hat to keep your face shaded from the bright, hot sun. Everybody reach up high, grab your hat, and put it on your head. Y'all look as perfect as a peach. Now that you're ready for a day on the farm, get on your feet and let's sing a song. Slap 
tapping, toe tapping, head nodding, banjo strumming, rooster crowing, go see do pig feeding, garden weeding, tractor steering, field clearing, turning, churning, clapping, snapping, spinning, grinning. Hey, let's go! That was so much fun! Go ahead and take a seat right there where you are. Here on the farm, one of my chores is to help take care of the animals. Do you want to meet some of them? Yeah! Well, alrighty then. This here is Rudy the rooster. He wakes us up bright and early every morning. Farm friends, what does a rooster say? cock a doodle doo, -doo, -doo. Yes siree! And this here is Gertie the goat. Farm friends, what does a goat say? <laughs> you know it! And I can't forget about the happiest animal here on the farm. My horse Harley! Farm friends, what does a horse say? <laughs> That's right! Looking after all the animals is a big part of helping out on the farm. But another chore I love to do is help take care of the crops, making sure they grow to be delicious. If you're gonna help out around here, I need to tell you about the two farm rules. The first rule is to be kind. Let me hear you say that after me. Be kind. Be kind. Good job, farm friends. We can be kind by being quiet so we don't scare any of the animals. Now, the second farm rule is to be safe. Let me hear you say that after me. Be safe. Be safe. You got it. You can be safe by keeping your hands close by your side and by sitting down on the ground so all of our farm friends can see. Now that you know the rules, it's time to get started on our chores. Farmer Fred always writes his chores for us on our chore board. Hmm, let's see what he wants us to do today. Chore number one says, feed Gertie and Harley. Oh no, that Gertie is one old grumpy goat. I am not feeding her. I don't mind feeding Harley because he is a happy horse. But Gertie, no way. Farmer Fred will just have to do that chore himself. Speaking of Farmer Fred, it looks like he's coming this way now. Let's get ready to listen to the exciting things he's got to say by clicking on our listening ears like this. Click, click. 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 Good job. Let's get our special eyes on so we don't miss anything Farmer Fred shows us. Do it with me. Zoop, zoop. 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 Perfect. Now, let's all wave and say, Howdy, Farmer Fred! Howdy, Farmer Fred! Woo! Howdy there, farm friends! I'm just giddy that you're here to help out on the farm. I was inside the barn and heard that you didn't want to feed Gertie the goat. If you don't want to feed Gertie, someone else will have to. And making someone else feed Gertie is not showing love. God wants us to show love by putting others first. That's what he tells us in the Bible. You see, there was once a man named Abraham who loved God. Can y'all say Abraham? Abraham! That's it! One day, God told Abraham to pack up and move to a new land. So Abraham, his wife Sarah, and all of their family and helpers packed up and set off for the new land. Lot was Abraham's nephew. Lot and all of his helpers went with Abraham too. There were so many people with so many animals and soon all of Lot and Abraham's helpers began to fight. You see, there was not enough grass for Abraham's animals and Lot's animals. But instead of fussing and fighting, Abraham wanted to show love to Lot. So he let Lot go first and pick the land he wanted to live on. Lot chose the very best land it had the greenest grass and the most water for all of his animals. Even though Lot picked the best land, Abraham didn't get mad. Instead, Abraham chose to show love to Lot. And because Abraham showed love, even when it wasn't easy, God promised to give Abraham something great. Here on the farm, we need to be showing love to others too. Everybody say this after me. I can. I can show love. Show love. Yep. Y'all get back to your chores, and I'll check back in in a little while. See you in a bit. You know what? Farmer Fred is right. I can show love by feeding Gertie the goat, even if I don't want to do it. Okay, farm friends. Well, I go feed Gertie, you guys sit tight and cheer on your favorite tractors they race to the strawberry patch. Since our next chore is to water the strawberries, I'll meet y'all there. See you in a bit. Howdy, y'all. Get ready for the tractor race. Pick the color of the tractor you think is fastest. 
contractors, start your engines. was the happiest old goat today. Being her was actually kind of fun. And I heard you guys cheering on your favorite tractor. It sounded like you were having lots of fun too. Now that Gertie is fed, our first chore is done. Farm friends, help me check it off the list. Now it's time to water the strawberry patch. These little plants have been out here in the hot sun all day. And I'm sure they could use a nice cold drink of water. And I have an idea. Let's play a game to see how much we learned on the farm today. I'm gonna ask you a question, and if you get it right, you can help me water one bushel of strawberries. Are y'all ready? Yeah! Okie dokie. In today's Bible story, when it was time to choose land for their animals, who picked their land first, Abraham or Lot? Lot! Yes, Abraham showed love to Lot by letting him pick his land first. Now everyone hold up your watering cans like this, and then we just tip it like this. Well, look at there. Let's see if we can get another bushel of strawberries to grow. Farm friends, did Abraham get mad at Lot for choosing the best land? No. Right again. Even though Lot chose the best land with the greenest grass and plenty of water for the animals, Abraham did not get mad at him. Now we can water the next bushel of strawberries. Farm friends, hold up your watering cans again and tip them like this. Ooh, doggy, look at these strawberries. All righty, here's one last question for you. When Abraham showed love to Lot, did God promise him something good or something bad? Something good. You betcha. When Abraham showed love, God promised him good things. Now we better water the last bushel of strawberries. Let's all hold up our watering cans one more time and tip them like this. Ooh-wee, those strawberries are looking delicious. Now we can check that chore right off our list. Bar friends, help me check it off. Look at there, we did it. And I can't wait until Farmer Fred sees all the beautiful strawberries. He's gonna be so proud. Hey, there's Farmer Fred now. Let's all wave and say, howdy Farmer Fred. Howdy Farmer Fred. Howdy there Farm Friends. Y'all have done real well with your chores today. I'm so proud to see all that's growing out here in the fields and in your hearts. There's a song we sing here on the farm about all the good things God grows in our hearts. Hey kids, why don't y'all stand up and sing it together?
was fun. You can all have a seat back down on the ground. Phew, this sure has been a busy day of chores and fun on the farm. Now, before you leave, I wanna make sure we can remember what Farmer Fred taught us from the Bible. God wants you and me to show love to everyone, just like Abraham. When we show love to others, the fruit of God's love grows in our hearts. So, let me hear you say that after me. I can. I can. Show love. Show love. Great job, farm friends. I hope you will come back and join me on the farm next week. Bye now. Wow, what a great day on the farm. When we talk about the fruit of the Spirit, we're not talking about oranges or bananas or apples or pears. Instead, the fruit is all the good things that the Holy Spirit produces in our lives once we choose to follow Jesus. And the first fruit of the Spirit is love. With the help of the Holy Spirit in our lives, we can love others really well. That's what we need to know today. I can show love. There's this verse in the Bible that helps us remember each fruit of the Spirit. We're gonna add to it each week. Let's practice it together now. Are you ready? Galatians 5, 22 and 23. But the Holy Spirit produces this kind of fruit in our lives. Love, Galatians 5, 22 and 23. Nice work. Now that you repeated it after me, why don't we say it all together? Let's try it. Ready? Galatians 5, 22 and 23. But the Holy Spirit produces this kind of fruit in our lives. Love. Galatians 5, 22 to 23. Nice. Remember that for next week because next week we're going to add one more word onto that verse. And we're going to keep doing that for the next eight weeks and then you'll know it, it's gonna be great. Hey, did you know that SBP Kids Live is happening every Sunday morning at St. Benedict Parish at 9 a.m. for elementary age kids? Why not join us? Come to church and anyone who's in primary to grade five, six, four, whatever you want can come and join us a Sunday morning downstairs. We have a lot of fun. We're doing the same stuff we're doing here on the videos. So if you miss it, you can always come back and watch our videos, but I hope to hang out with you soon. And for older elementary kids, we're back with the encounter on Wednesday nights. This is for grades four to six. You can find out all about it and all the fun we're going to have by going to stbenedict.ca slash youth and scrolling down to find the encounter section and register there. And guess what families? You can keep talking about all these truths we've learned today at SPP Kids Online Church in your home this week by getting some resources in your email from our newsletter called the SPP Kids Scoop. To get it, just go to stbenedict.ca slash Kids and sign up for the Scoop newsletter there. Then keep this conversation going. In that email, you'll also find the link to the other SPP Kids video that we put out every week. The On the Farm series has a video for elementary kids and for preschoolers, which means double the fun for your family. You can find the SBP Kids series and all of our past series by going to youtube.com slash thinkbp. Subscribe so you never miss the fun. All right, pals, I'm about to giddy on up out of here, but saddle up for next week to hear more about the Holy Spirit can help us live our lives. See ya!